assistance as they try to negotiate him out safely. Nick? Rhonda, good morning to you. The command center is still behind me. I want to get straight to the new video. Take a look at this. This is the second hostage that was able to escape from this home. And I literally mean escape from this home. He told DPD once he got out that the suspect in this case fell asleep. And that's when he took an opportunity and ran out the door. Now you see him in handcuffs simply because they wanted to make sure he didn't have any weapons on him just in case. He, but he has been checked out. He is negotiating, and he did tell officers that he was afraid for his life the entire time. So there is no um, rumor anymore that he could be working in conjunction with the suspect in this case. Now, as we continue to talk about what's happening here, the standoff is still ongoing as we speak. This is a suspect from a triple murder that happened on Helen Street over the summer. Three people were killed and the house was set on fire. Redford Township Police tried pulling the suspect over yesterday. He got to this home, went inside, which is his own home, held two people hostage. The female was released uh, yesterday afternoon or got out yesterday afternoon. And as you just heard, the second hostage just got out about 15 minutes ago. In the interim, DPD is urging the suspect right now to come out safely or work with them safely. They are saying they do not want to have to hurt him. We want him to know that we are gonna wait for him. Uh, we want him to come out peacefully. Uh, we're not looking to hurt him. Um, if he's watching TV today, I think our negotiators have asked him to turn the TV on. Uh, please put the weapons down, come out with your hands up and we will take care of you. So that is the message from the hostage team to the suspect. And if the suspect is watching right now, please take that notice. Hear that they do not want to hurt you and they want this to end peacefully. I will add, though, that when we asked what happens after this, they say they do have additional options. If the suspect does not want to come out peacefully, things will begin to escalate, including flashbangs and other tools at their disposal. And they are telling neighbors that that is a possibility. Just hunker down and prepare, but they will put out some public service announcements through us to let the neighbors know what might happen if things begin to escalate that way. We're going to keep you updated. Stay with us all morning long here. We'll let you know what happens. We're live here on the northwest side. Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News today. Well, we're certainly glad that that ended peacefully in terms of the suspect, the hostages rather, uh, being able to get to safety, and we certainly hope that the that the suspect there wakes up and hears that alert from police.